As a blogger, we always want to maintain that persona of authenticity because if we don't, it's not fun. And if we don't want to tweet 20 times a day, don't do it. Like, and if you just want to try it out and then drop it, that's fine. Don't put the pressure on yourself to be all over the social media sphere because I know that there's a lot of pressure to do that. And I love these blogging conferences because it inspires. But I. Well, the panel that I was a part of uh, was the Blogging Toolkit panel, which is a panel that talked about um, using Facebook as well as Twitter as a means to promote your blog and also look at different ways to use analytics and other technology-based um, programs to promote and brand your blog. I would probably say that Twitter has been the best for my brand. It's, it's the easiest way to stay engaged with the people that read your blog and that follow you. Tweet your posts. Share your posts that way. Tweet about things that are quality, other posts that you like. Don't just tweet about like the weather outside. Twitter's a really great networking tool. It's great to network with other bloggers and editors and who have brands. Whereas Facebook, you do get a more engaged audience. I think, I think that on Facebook, we do a good job of asking really open-ended questions in terms of like people's style and their, you know, what trends they're interested in, and that seems to get a lot of engagement. Keep it relevant and, and helpful. People want tips. They love new information. You should try and experiment with various social media outlets, uh, even beyond Facebook and Twitter, because you don't know what's going to work best for your brands and how you express yourself and communicate to your audience. The reason they become so popular is because of the free marketing that you can do via social media outlets. So I would say my very favorite is Twitter because it's real time and I love like when I find my homies online and we can chit chat at the same time. I thought it was very interesting that while I prefer Facebook, some of the other panelists prefer Twitter and even things like Pinterest and Tumblr. So I have found that even though Twitter is more influential for me than Facebook, as you know, social media grows and things go viral so quickly, Instagram has become more important for me than Twitter. I've really enjoyed seeing the discussion about blogging go beyond like how do you blog, what are the techniques and all that. And more into like branding, working with brands, what they're expecting. Uh, that kind of stuff. So I am, I am learning and Harry was fantastic. I think like really like the takeaway from this blog panel too is that there are a lot of news outlets that discuss new technology that has social sharing services behind it and so it's important for us not only to be reading the fashion blogs but maybe like Mashable or Tech Crunch to learn what is new and fresh and how we might want to integrate it into um, our daily blogging lives.